Now, our first speaker uh, was to be Song Khan, who's definitely one of the academic leaders in this area, and the conference wouldn't have been the same without him. Unfortunately, uh, he flew back from Beijing on the plane that had the first instance of coronavirus in, in the East Coast. And so he has quarantined himself, uh, but he's been kind enough to send uh, his student, uh, Yun Jun Lin, uh, to cover for him. Uh, this is a, a, a big uh, event for Yu Jun, and please give a sympathetic uh, offering him, but I know that Song and Yu Jun have worked, both worked very, very hard together on their presentations. So Yu Jun, if you want to. Hear me? Okay, great. So, uh, kind of nervous. Hi, uh, good morning. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, good morning, everyone. I'm Eugene Lin, a PhD student of Professor Song Han. I'm sorry that Song Han could not make it today. So, today I'm going to give a talk about hardware aware neural architecture search and compression for efficient deep learning on behalf of Professor Han. So, uh, hardware has played a very important role in the modern deep learning. Uh, affecting the trend of deep neural networks uh, design. So in the early stage of deep neural networks, uh, researchers had mainly focused on the uh, cloud side where abundant computational resources are available. So uh, therefore, the neural network design are mostly focused on the accuracy side from around 60% given by AlexNet to 84% given by EfficientNet or ImageNet. Recently, with the rise of the mobile devices, uh, the focus of neural network design uh, has shifted from the cloud side to mobile side. Uh, the objective, uh, the optimization objective, have shifted from the uh, have shifted to the trade-off between the accuracy and efficiency. So uh, it has been many years since the rise of mobile mobile devices. Uh, what will be the next? So. Uh, this is the trend of the uh, intelligent devices across the recent years. Till 2018, there have been uh, 23 billion devices around us, almost covering everywhere in our life. These IoT devices require always on, uh, privacy preserving, uh, extremely, uh, running on extremely device, uh, resources on a specialized hardware. So currently, this, the number of these IoT devices are already being more orders of magnitude larger than the mobile devices. And this gap will continue increasing over the years. So uh, both mem uh, So, will this be the next trend? If so, how should we design this? So let's first look at the difference between the mobile devices and these uh, tiny model, uh, tiny devices. So the mobile devices typically have gigabyte RAM, with, uh, enough, which is enough for most neural networks, uh, which means they only have soft constraints on the model size and the activation. Small model is more like vitamins. It's good to have, but not vital. In contrast, uh, the microcontroller only have kilobyte RAM. Hence, many models uh, will, be, will fail to run due to the memory limits. As such, tiny model design has hard constraints, which is more like a short a master for pen killer. So our efforts focus on making uh, uh, deep learning efficient, even with these tiny resources, including the computational resources and the human resources. So in this talk, we are going to first talk about the uh, model compression, focusing on the computational resources, and then AutoML and NAS, focusing on the human resources. So to cope with tiny computational resources, uh, we are the first pioneers uh, proposing the model compression technique. Model compression uh, shrinks the uh, size of existing pre-trained large models into small models so that it can fit into the hardware without loss of accuracy. By simply pruning the synapses and neurons, the neural network can be compressed by 10 times more, further aided by quantization and half mind encoding. We are able to achieve 50 times compression ratio without uh, using deep, deep compression techniques without loss of accuracy. So deep compression works on various LM benchmarks, reducing model size in image classifications uh, on in, without hurting the accuracy. It also improves the FPS in multiple object detection tasks. And it can even accelerate the GAN tasks uh, on the NVIDIA Xavier GPU platform without hurting the uh, image quality. So, the effectiveness of the deep compression have led to its popularity in the many industry companies like Samsung and uh, Xilinx. So we want to make a leap further than the computational resource. 
So uh, we also work on the human resource efficient with auto ML and NAS. So traditionally, researchers manually design the architecture based on the human expertise. It typically involves tremendous human efforts to tune each dimension for a better trade-off between accuracy and efficiency. The cost is prohibitive. Recently, neural architecture search techniques are proposed to reduce the human resource cost by using machine learning to automatically design the neural architecture. However, conventional NAS methods are very expensive, requiring tens of thousands of GPU hours and more than $100,000 to search a single model. Therefore, such methods have to rely on proxy tasks to reduce the cost, such as learning on CIFA-10 and then transferring the building blocks to ImageNet, which is usually suboptimal for the target task. So, we introduce a more efficient AutoML pipeline for the efficient deep learning, including proxies the NAS for auto neural architecture search, AMC for auto channel pruning, and HAQ for auto mixed precision quantization. So, specifically, in the first step, we aim to search a specialized neural architecture directly on the target task and target hardware. It requires to re reduce the cost of searching. Uh, which is GPU hours and GPU memories to the same level as normal training, and merging the feedback from the hardware into the search loop. To save GPU hours, we model NAS as a path-level pruning process, where a super network contains all candidates' operations is trained with architecture parameters, and redundant paths are pruned based on the architecture parameters at the end of the training. To save the GPU memories, we binarize the architecture parameters and allow only one activate path at the runtime. So you avoid to store all the activations of all candidates, thereby reducing the memory footprint from ON to O1. So uh, combining all these techniques, uh, we have greatly uh, saved the search cost by 200 times, reducing to the same level as normal training, thereby allowing direct optimization on the large scale tasks like ImageNet. So here is a demo of our search process. We generally learn the weight and architecture parameters on GPU and CPU. Initially, these two models have similar architectures. However, uh, with different feedback from different hardware, they gradually learn to be different. For example, the model on CPU uh, is usually to be deep and with small and slim kernels, while the model on GPU is shallow with many wide and large kernels. That's because GPU has more parallelism than CPUs. So compared with human design models, proxies NAS models are more accurate with similar latency, specifically with around 75 top one accuracy. Proxies NAS is 1.8 times faster than MobileNet V2. So after designing a specialized models, uh, AMC further improves the efficiency by using the auto channel pruning. Finally, HAQ flexibly allocates different bit widths to different uh, weights and activations based on the target hardware and constraints. It significantly outperforms the traditional uniform fixed bits quantization under a wide variety of constraints. So, besides image classification, our AutoML uh, techniques can, you also use, be, can be also used to accelerate other applications, such as the super resolution, as soon as this this demo, our model improves the efficiency by nearly three times without loss of quality. So uh, our Proxidus NAS model are already launched in AutoGruen and PyTorch. It's very easy to use, uh, requiring only a few lines of code. So using our AutoML techniques, uh, we won the first place in the Visual Week, uh, visual world, week world Challenge at CVPR 19. It's a binary classification task of predicting whether there are a person in front of the camera. So it has very strict efficiency constraints, including the peak memory usage, uh, the model size, and the number of multiplications. So our final results achieve 95% accuracy while satisfying all these constraints. So here is a demo of our solution on Raspberry Pi 4. So uh, here is another demo on a $10 uh, microcontroller unit. So we will bring these demos in today's demo session. So, so far we have discussed 
so far, we have discussed how to efficiently design a specialized model for a specialized target pro, uh, for a specialized target task and the target platform. So, however, if we have several products, we have to repeat the architectural search process and retrain the model from the scratch for each scenario. This will lead to a linearly growing design cost, which will quickly become unaffordable. As shown in the beginning, we in fact have to handle diverse platforms, including the cloud side, uh, mobiles, thousands of mobile devices, billions of IoT devices, and uh, even on the same hardware. We also need to handle different scenarios, such as different uh, battery conditions, different workloads, different applications, etc. So given such a number of different deploying scenarios, it becomes very challenging to efficiently deploy deep learning models on them. So, to address this challenge, we introduce a new approach for this deep, uh, efficient deployment. Instead of independently search for the search and train the models for each deploying scenarios, we propose to handle them once for all. So the key idea is that we train, uh, we decouple the model training from the model searching. We present one once for all network that supports all architectural configurations in the search space. And given a deployment a scenario, we can quickly get a specialized sub-network from this once-for-all network without further training. So this approach eliminates the repeated architectural search and the model training cost, reducing the complexity from O1 to O1, so that we can train one and get many models. We cover four different dimensions of neural architectures, including the input resolution, the kernel size, the, ch the channels, and the, width, uh, the depth. There are more than 10 to the 19th uh, possible subnetworks in the design space. For the kernel size dimensions, small kernels are take the central weights from the larger kernels after the trans transformation. For the depth dimension, we skip the later layers to reduce the depth. For the width dimension, we only take the important channels, uh, such as uh, based on their importance, such as L1 norm. When deriving the specialized subnetworks from the once for all network, we propose to use a predictor based method to eliminate a repeated search cost. So combining all of this, we greatly reduce the total cost. For example, a once for all network only costs 300 pounds of carbon dioxide emission and 100 deploying scenarios, which is 3,000 times smaller than the MNASnet. The reduction ratio will even, can be even larger when you are having more uh, deployment scenarios. So moreover, we do not sacrifice any Accuracy, instead, once for all provides the state-of-the-art accuracy on ImageNet under the mobile settings. In particular, it can achieve 80% top one accuracy with less than 150 milliseconds on Google Pixel 1. Compared to the efficient net, it can achieve uh, 3.8 accuracy improvement within the similar latency or provide 2.6 times speed up with similar accuracy. So once for all also enables fast and fine-grained specialization across many devices uh, under a wide spectrum of latency constraints. So once for all consistently achieves better accuracy uh, result than the mobile that with three on all scenarios. So these are all mobile devices, including Samsung's, uh, Samsung's mobile phones, Google mobile phones, LG mobile phones. So uh, for FPGA platforms, we profile profile the utilization ratio of our specialized sub-networks. Once for all, improves the GOPS per second by 70% compared with mobile net v2 and 92% compared with MNAS net. So with improved utilizations, once for all significantly improves the efficiency, infer, uh, efficiency without loss of accuracy. So we apply our once for all networks in the low power computation, uh, computer vision challenge at ICCV19 and win the first place in the DSP track. Our final results achieves 79 accuracy on the private image classification data set within five milliseconds latency on the Hexon 619 DSP. So far, we have explored optimizing deep learning models for the, for the better hardware performance. Uh, so a question does pop up in our minds. Can we use machine learning feedback to ha also help optimize hardware? So the answer is yes. We combine the auto ML and the ma machine learning based hardware search in the one loop. Since accelerator design cycle is much longer than the neural networks, the accelerator should be generalized to a suite of neural networks. Therefore, we choose to first search the hardware architecture. So, and then the neural architecture search. 
Combining the hardware architecture search and neural architecture search, uh, this figure shows the overview of our framework. We adopt evolution strategy to gradually select out the best hardware fits from the randomly generated hardware candidates. So these two figures shows the improvement over the state-of-the-art design uh, bit fusion from hardware architecture search. Uh, it can bring a 1.1 times speed up and 1.1 times energy savings on average. The design space of the neural architecture and hardware architecture are highly correlated. So uh, instead of applying human heuristics or separate these two architectural design space, we propose to apply the machine learning co-design so that uh, such co-design is able to yield a better design choice with high sample efficiency. It offers 1.1 speed up from the pure hardware configurations and 1.3 speed up from the narrow architecture design. So uh, in conclusion, the rise of IoT devices brings lots of opportunities and challenges. So the tiny, the, uh, the modern tiny machine learning models require the occupying the tiny computational resources and the cost on the tiny human resources. So uh, that's all. This talk is based on many projects in our lab, collaborating with many energetic students, including Han Cai, Ji Lin, Zhi Jian Liu, and Harry Wang. So uh, our mission is to make uh, deep learning more efficient with tiny computational resources and tiny human resources. That's all. Thank you. <laughs>